welcome everyone welcome to road to vacp and obviously you have taken a long time uh, again uh, to come up with our new video because this day is office assignment is keeping me extra busy and uh, while doing such one of such assignment at office i come across uh, this idea that why not create a, a video on that and uh, the topic of the today is very important because it is about uh, uh, discussing the uh, security of a wordpress uh, database plugin and which could affect the uh, you know security of your website at a high time so this particular uh, wordpress uh, plugin is a database plugin uh, definitely uh, going is in use by millions of websites out there because wordpress already encompasses a, a lots of website a lots of website a lot of website in the open domain uh, and uh, uh, by exploiting this you can compromise the sensitive data from its database and uh, you know it, it can cause a chaos among the website owners so what happened uh, uh, one of my office website is uh, being uh, asked to be transferred in some new platform and i uh, and the task was assigned to me and when i reached to the existing webmaster he told me that he has already created a already using a plugin uh, wordpress plugin uh, in the existing website which will help uh, to migrate the existing database and uh, i think that will ease your process so i thought that before actually fiddling the wordpress plugin uh, that being used by the in the existing website i thought why not install the same in my local system so that i know about its integrity and then i can solve so i just installed the same uh, plugin uh, in my local website in the video itself you can see that i am just trying to show that if that kind of plugins is installed in your system that what kind of signature you will find okay so there will be a, a indication of wp the backup tool uh, php kind of thing in your source code so i uh, straight away set up my wordpress and uh, try to install the same plugin and definitely uh, believe me my friends uh, this plugin was so wonderful that even really bleed the uh, wordpress uh, easily uh, but for that you need to have some sort of knowledge of php source code review uh, without it you cannot uh, use it by other tools like sql map which i'll show at the end of this video that how even after using the sql map you are having no clues uh, to uh, dump any uh, database uh, databases from the website okay so uh, i have also also highlighted a small uh, source code snippet in my screen that you can see before you and this particular this particular screenshot shows that uh, where i have located this uh, uh, insecure parameter in the wordpress so this is the this is the plugin uh, i'll show you the plugin because i have installed the exact plugin which has been used by my webmaster and uh, because i just want to find out that whether some kind of vulnerability is existed or not so i uh, i googled around it okay he has just made some tweaks so i googled around it i have found certain uh, materials out there in the google and i used all the concept and then i used my knowledge and merged them to uh, get the uh, result out of uh, this particular plugin okay so uh, this is the plugin and right now the exact plugin version is uh, 2.5 i am not using the current one i i am pretty sure that even the current one can be exploited uh, but only it requires the time and uh, you know your time and if you uh, invest enough time you may definitely spot on some uh, vulnerabilities and i am also planning to do uh, do a you know i am also planning to do a research on this new plugin also because my idea was to create or develop a wordpress plugin based on this uh, similar concept but i just don't want to i just want to cut the clutter and just want to make it simple okay and which i can not only can use in wordpress but at the uh, at the same other websites also so i'm just going to the wordpress plugin folder that is in the wp content and i'll show you that uh, index uh, that uh, php file and this php file was long enough so i'm not going to discuss uh, all the lines in detail i'll just uh, focusing on the lines which caught my attention uh, sorry attraction um, and um, you know um, i thought that this particular uh, code code can be exploited so whenever i find that uh, any php website is taking some kind of user input and if this user input is coming from an admin or whatever whatever the site it is if it is an user input then i try to uh, you know uh, try to uh, find out 
uh, the kind of thing that is uh, possible uh, any kind of web uh, related vulnerabilities like uh, be it is accesses or be it is uh, uh, sql injection i try my level best since it was a database related tool so the first thing that came to my mind was exploiting the sql injection okay so it was nothing like that that uh, by seeing uh, the source code i thought that why not sql injection will be there since it was a database tool so i just thought for that okay so that was the that was the task now i'll uh, I'll uh, try to show the same exploitation part in my uh, Firefox. I think my Firefox is uh, okay. Let me first check whether the Firefox is uh, okay. So you can see that I have tried it once uh, using the same nonce, but since this nonce value or the you know uh, number that has been one, uh, used at once, a uh, kind of CSRF token. If you don't know about the CSRF token, you can watch the previous video which I've uploaded there. Uh, you know, where I have shown that how different kind of bypasses could be there in what uh, in CSRF. So let us uh, make a login and try to extract the CSRF manually. But this is not the way. But since you have already got an admin privileges, so I'll rate this vulnerability plugin vulnerability as uh, not as critical one, but as an as high or medium in between high and medium. Okay, medium to high. So I'll now now go to the source code of this uh, WPDB and try to extract that nonce value and use the nonce value in the url so here is my uh, okay here is my nonce value and uh, i'll use this nonce value here let's copy this nonce value and let's go back let's paste this nonce value in notepad okay I hope uh, friends you must be finding my video interesting because I'm taking time to come up with my video but I always try to make it a point that uh, beginners get a good uh, uh, you know look at how the things are performed at uh, label it's not always tool tool tools sometimes you have to use the brains uh, tooling definitely helps you but uh, not always okay this was this is my experience so you can see uh, there was something uh, as an error learn. now let's try to get that favorite uh, wordpress uh, sorry uh, database error that uh, there is some error in sql injection kind of thing you have seen if you have any idea about the sql injection then you definitely understand if you don't have any idea about the sql injection i am definitely coming up with a new video which will cover all the aspects of sql injection so stay tuned guys and uh, keep sharing your love to my channel and uh, at the same time, if you feel that uh, there is something lacking in my channel, please do recommend. I'll definitely try to improve that. Uh, I have always told you that I always create, uh, try to create the video, uh, keeping beginners in my mind at first. But that doesn't mean uh, that uh, any intermediate or advanced users cannot use it. They can also use it. And they can also suggest me if they want to have some extra stuff. Because uh, uh, in this particular, see, now I've got that WordPress famous WordPress database error and it is showing that it's a mariadb engine is showing some kind of error now let's try to exploit it okay so i'm just using a select command uh, i hope this select command would work or not i uh, i don't think so it is going to i'm just uh, using without union query but i'm just trying it okay because you know that uh, i know about the wordpress database i know what kind of uh, tables are there uh, there is a table called wp underscore users and this use uh, this table uh, contains all the username password of uh, WordPress uh, website so let's try to find out that how we can do it okay otherwise I'll I'll use some other method uh, there are uh, tons of other methods uh, to exploit an error based SQL injection so I'm showing you the uh, tables of okay so there is a WP users now let's see what kind of uh, fields are there okay so there is a field called user underscore pass user underscore username okay user underscore login okay this kind of tables are there let's try to put the login table and let's see what's the output we get okay and okay i think we got in some another table but we have uh, not still extracted the any um, from the login user underscore login so let's try to use uh, some other methods 
and i think uh, there are tons of other metal let's use uh, okay mm. okay let me analyze i think it is do perfectly okay i think it is not getting exploited let me try some dios okay so double injection queries do you understand about dios dios okay double injections so like more than one queries you are just uh, assigning to the uh, vulnerable sql injection point and you are uh, you will that will be helpful if you don't understand uh, then also i'll be covering this part in my sql injection videos okay so stay tuned okay so let's try to uh, okay so let's try to use the database function let's see whether we are getting some databases or not because database function will uh, be a kind of thing that uh, Okay, so no database is there. Okay, so let's try to use some other queries. Okay, okay, let's test it. I created this query offline and then I just try to extract use it. Okay, so here we get an. Uh, okay, so we got the uh, database version. Okay, let's try to see uh, see the username and database. So let's try to use the database first. database and uh, here it go we got the wp you can see wp is there we can also find out the uh, user what is the username i it should be it should be local host uh, root at the local host so you see that uh, this particular plugin is uh, vulnerable to sql injection now uh, if you thought that why not i am using the sql map uh, for exploiting all the same then you can see that in some time i'll be launching the sql map uh, tool also and using the same uh, same uh, particular url and uh, try to exploit it but uh, i must tell you one one thing my friend sometime sql sql map definitely sql map is a great tool and it is very handy while exploiting the uh, data from a uh, vulnerable uh, vulnerable sql uh, um, uh, website vulnerable to sql injection but it uh, it doesn't work all the time sometimes the queries or sometimes the things are so complex with the code label that uh, this tool simply fails to you know get the desired result out of the website so i i tell i must tell you that you should always use your mind you should always understand the process and then you should implement the tool it's not like that uh, tooling which tooling is going to help you in any way because see i am just launching this uh, sql map and if it is so simple it would have uh, dumped the sql dat uh, database uh, soon but uh, sorry unfortunately sql map uh, in this particular case has failed miserably but your manual injection has worked so that's why i was uh, telling you and at the same time uh, you must be thinking that i am not using i am not using the say, user session or something like that that's why there could be a, i have used the both method okay i have used the uh, post method at the same time i used the session cookie session cookie and everything but still uh, sql map uh, didn't produce any result out of it so uh, ultimately i had to quit it and uh, that is the thing so uh, friends i hope uh, so far uh, my objective uh, of this video is uh, okay before you and if you are the website owner developer or just someone who just concerned about your online security this is the video you cannot uh, afford to miss so make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uh, deep dives into the world of technology and uh, you know web securities and uh, uh, thank you uh, for being uh, my partner in this eye opening journey of unraveling the wordpress database plugin vulnerability and we'll be coming back again with uh, similar kind of vulnerabilities uh, in wordpress or hardware or uh, in way other web related securities uh, so uh, just keep showering there your love and affection to me and my channel at the same time i'll just request please uh, share this to the friends of community and they so that they can also get a benefit out of it and you know that is uh, that is uh, that is all for this video and have a great day and uh, uh, bye for uh, bye from road to acp thank you take care
so in the last part you can see that i'm just trying to uh, show that uh, that uh, how i can uh, download the username and admin password and i'll just show that admin admin password and user admin password uh, is also uh, being dumped using the vulnerability uh, so it's just an add-on nothing new and uh, you can use the limit function to dump all the other username passwords okay thank you friends it was really interesting for me also because it was it was uh, like an um, hands on on uh, uh, plugin uh, through its source code reviews and the subscribe button is right before you and the notification bell is also there so please do your stuff and press the like press the subscribe button and uh, notification bell okay thank you friends thank you and have a great time thank you once again